first order. This is for Himeko Hai 2017 Judge Test. Yes, hi. The motion before the house is this house believes that CEOs of large corporations should be selected by employees rather than shareholders. Without further ado, I'd like to call upon the Prime Minister to present their case within seven minutes. Here, here. So the CEO chosen by the shareholders comes to no good for even employees to the, and to the companies. Because um, those CEOs are likely to be ex exploited, so they often um, overuse the, um, um, the employees, uh, like they forced to work for a long, uh, long time or stuff like that. And also they fail to um, get the, um, the long-term um, profit because the stakeholders are likely to um, um, seek the short-term term benefit. So those CEOs are not, does not come to no good, but the CEO chosen by the employees can actually come to uh, more beneficial things for the companies and for the employees themselves. Because like they are, like uh, they will actually cho chose the CEOs, um, they really care about the CEOs, uh, sorry, sorry, the companies, and so it is much more beneficial, we believe. And before I move on to my argument, I'd like to clarify the CEOs and the large companies. So the CEO is somebody who have um, the ability or authority to de decide the entire business plan, and also um, they are in the top of the internal structure in the company. And secondly, um, the large corporation is um, is um, the companies that have the large numbers of employees, and also they have the business partners like the small and middle-sized companies. and And we will talk about those kind of companies and CEOs. And so I have um, two arguments in my speech. And first is why CEOs selected by stakeholders do harm on employees and even companies. And second argument is how taking this proposal can lead to the um, uh, create the benefit to the employees and the, the those corporations. So coming to my first argument, why CEOs selected by stakeholders do harm on ex employees and companies. So um, we actually can see that stakeholders have some sort of incentive to increase the profit of the companies, but that is actually the short-term benefit. Because um, you know, um, the stakeholders want to get the, um, um, the profit from those kind of the, the stakes, right? So it means like um, they are going to sell those kind of stakes in the future, right? So it means like um, you know, they, want to, they want the, comp the corporations to make the short-term benefit and they want to extract some of the profit from those kind of stakes. So, um, so they do not have any, you know, future perspective of the company. So they do not actually care about the uh, about the corporation's long-term benefit. And that, and also, um, the CEO chosen by the stakeholders is not um, generally good because, like, they are chosen by the connection of the stakeholders, like um, somebody who um, worked worked with before or something like that. And also, they um, also stakeholders are likely to choose somebody who have a strong authority or, you know. Um, the kind of um, the experienced politicians or stuff like that. So um, those cases are actually happening. So it means like those um, the CEOs chosen by the, um, um, the the stakeholders do not create the benefit because they are not actually suitable and they are not um, actually um, experienced in in terms of the business planning or stuff like that. And also. Um, and those CEOs are likely to be um, excessively seek the profit, so they do not actually care about um, about the employees because, like um, <clears throat> you know, the state, you know stakeholders actually uh, you know ex expect those kind of uh, the CEOs to make uh, the huge profit, and those CEOs will actually uh, overuse the, the the employees to work much longer, or you know. Uh, or you know they are likely to um, 
lower the income of the each employees. So that will actually uh, mitigate the motivation of each employees, and and it will actually creating the best working environment for each employees. So that is quite harmful um, situation. And coming to my second argument, how taking this proposal can um, make the benefit to the employees and even companies. So if the employees can, um, you know, select the the CEOs of the, their companies, um, they are likely to choose somebody who really care about the working environment of the each, um, you know, each employees, like uh, somebody who, you know, who are willing to increase the income of the. The, the employees or who are uh, you know happy to decrease the working hour of the employees and also uh, and also they can choose somebody who uh, who wants him or her to lead the companies so, and also they can choose somebody who really know about so it is m much more um, beneficial for the employees because they are you know they can actually um, Increase the working environment, and they can actually um, enjoy the leisure time. So it means like they can actually increase the motivation to work more, and they can be incentivized to work more because um, they can have better working environment, and also um, they can have better quality of life. So they will have more capacity um, to um, to work more, and they will be more productive if they can have enough rest or enough sleep. Um, so it is much more um, better things for the employees. Yes. So in large companies, how can the majority of the employees know about the candidate of the CEO? So I mean like, um, you know, the employees do not choose somebody who do not know, right? Because, um, you, know, they are, you know, those employees are supposed to choose the, the, the CEOs of the companies. So it means like they will actually choose somebody um, who they really know and who they think are suitable to the CEOs of the companies. So, and that's the reason. And also, um, as I have told you before, um, the employees can be actually uh, motivated and they will be more productive uh, when they can have a good working environment. So it will lead to the more benefit of the companies, right? So, <clears throat> um, of course, um, it's um, quite true that if uh, the employees are productive, they can create more benefit. And it means like it will be more beneficial uh, for the stakeholders because the companies will create the more benefit by um, uh, from those kind of um, good working environments. And also, it will be uh, even good for the entire uh, society because when the large companies get more profit, they will, those kind of profit will be you know distributed to the small and middle-sized company, and that will actually um, just stimulate the entire economy because they. The, the many people can actually increase their income, and they can be um, they can have more, um, you know, um, <clears throat> capacity for consumption or stuff like that. So that is much more better situation. So we back to propose this motion. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister, for your excellent speech. Now I call upon the leader of the opposition to open up the case, Prince company has the responsibility for the society, like supplying the goods or service to the society. If the large company uh, will be uh, will bankrupt, the society get large harm, like uh, Lehman Brothers uh, uh, caused the uh, economic crisis. And in Japan, uh, JAR is, uh, is important for Jap uh, Japan, and JAR is uh, bailed out by the uh, government. So large company is really uh, important for the society. So we want to protect the uh, large company from bankrupting. Uh, and uh, I have uh, one rebuttal to the uh, government side. Uh, they said uh, if the uh, if the CEOs are chosen by the uh, shareholders, 
uh, share, uh, the, uh, the working environment will be bad because the uh, see, uh, because shareholders uh, seek for the short-term benefit. But uh, uh, if the CEOs are uh, really smart as a profit seeker, uh, as profit seeker, they are afraid of decreasing the uh, manpower or the employees are uh, uh, exhausting uh, exhausted too much. So even if the uh, CEOs are selected by selected by the uh, shareholders, CEOs don't uh, don't uh, make the environment so so bad. Don't waste the manpa Don't waste the employees. Uh, so the environment won't will be bad. And I have two arguments in my uh, speech. Uh, first, uh, share, uh, when the shareholders select the CEOs. Uh, CEOs can make the better decisions for the uh, company. Uh, and second argument, if the uh, CEOs are selected by em employees, uh, the CEOs can't make the better decision. Uh, start my first argument. Uh, shareholders uh, who have the stock of the company want to increase the benefit of the company uh, because uh, they have the stock of the company. Uh, if company uh, would bankrupt or decrease the benefits, uh, they, uh, the shareholders also decrease the uh, uh, money or fortunes of, of them. So, uh, so shareholders, uh, shareholders, stockholders, research the company uh, deeply and detailedly and, uh, and who, uh, research, uh, who have the good ability uh, to manage the, uh, manage the company. Uh, so, uh, who, uh, uh, who can uh, make the uh, make the good balance of the um, uh, environment of workers and uh, uh, learning of the company? Uh, uh, so they can uh, they can research the uh, company deep, deep, uh, deeply deeply uh, and. Uh, uh, detailed so CEOs uh, will be smart uh, CEO uh, who chose to buy or choose to buy uh, shareholders is smart and if uh, uh, if company uh, don't prioritize the shareholders uh, uh, shareholders sell their stock uh, of the company uh, so uh, uh, so uh, so uh, the, ma uh, the, the money resource of the company will decrease, uh, so the company uh, don't uh, uh, don't uh, invest uh, the invest the instrument uh, or the research, so the benefit of the uh, company will decrease. And if the uh, if uh, shareholders sell their stocks. Uh, 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 they uh, they don't uh, not only decrease the uh, money resource but also reduce the trust of the company. So even if the company uh, can, uh, the learning of the company will be uh, worse, uh, they, the company can't uh, support it by the bank uh, because the trust of the company uh, is uh, so low. So bank uh, bank don't support the company. Uh, the company and uh, and the company will bankrupt. Uh, and uh, second, uh, move on to the second argument. Uh, if the uh, if the CEOs are chosen by the employees, uh, the CEOs uh, are not uh, smart and uh, can't uh, make the better decision for the uh, for the company. Uh, because employees prioritize themselves uh, rather than the company, uh, even uh, uh, employees think that uh, even if the benefit of the company increase, they uh, they invest their instruments or uh, invest the research, so the salary won't increase easily. Uh, the employees think so, and uh, so uh, uh, so. Uh, with, uh, what type of CEOs uh, employees choose? Uh, uh, they choose uh, just uh, they choose just not severe uh, CEOs. Uh, uh, they want to choose uh, two kind two kind CEOs uh, 
uh, two kind of CEOs. So C, uh, so as uh, such CEOs uh, only uh, only uh, prioritize the uh, employees uh, uh, because they uh, they want uh, they want to be con they want to continue to stay in the position of the uh, CEOs. They have incentive, uh, so they uh, just uh, decrease the uh, uh, working time, uh, decrease the working decrease the working time, or uh, they don't uh, don't they don't spend uh, money uh, on the instrument or the research, but uh, just increase the uh, increase the salary uh, uh, salary. Uh, so uh, so the learning of the uh, company uh, uh, will be uh, will be bad uh, will be bad. Uh, uh, such CEOs just uh, prioritize the employees, so uh, so it's bad. Uh, and so we uh, strongly uh, oppose this uh, this motion. Thank you. Thank you, leader of the opposition, for your excellent speech. Now I call upon the Deputy Prime Minister. Thank you, Madam Chair. Large corporations are not just the property of the shareholders. The, the opposition side today is running a very extreme case with, or a rare case of saying that, that only the, the shareholders can choose the right can make the right decision or choose the choose the right uh, choose the right uh, CEOs or they are the one who should be the, the uh, main actor in the selection of the CEOs. But we believe in our side is that the company is constituted is made up of many employees and many employees and we, we believe that the employees must be the main character main actor in terms of cho choosing CEOs CEOs so as I already told you, the, the problem of the opposition side today is that they looked at they lack the analysis of companies CEOs shareholders or employees and so on they're just saying something that is very I they're idealistic in their paradigm, which is never true. Such as, uh, if the employee is going to choose the CEOs, the, the, the large companies are more likely to bankrupt, which we believe is never true, or so on. So the government, so the opposition side today must be more, uh, must be, uh, must make more analysis and be clear as to what they want to do. Well, we believe that this debate is about in which paradigm is going to be better for the CEOs or the employees and even for the shareholders. And this, is term, and this debate is in terms of the, uh, what kind of priority the CEO is going to make. So first thing in my debate, first thing in my speech, first of all, I'm going to talk about further analysis on why our paradigm is for better for the employees and large corporations. And secondly, I'm going to talk about how our paradigm can bring more benefits to even outside of the company. That is to say that our paradigm is much more better in terms of interacting with other companies, which is associated with those large companies. And thirdly, I'm going to talk about why CEOs chosen by shareholders are more likely to fail, more likely to fail. But before that, I have to make several uh, rebuttals which won't uh, fit in my later speech. So they, they claim that the, the CEOs selected by uh, shareholders can make better decisions. They, they just said better decisions, but we do not know what kind of decision that is. We do not know what is better in this case. They, what they are claiming is something that is better for the stakeholders, shareholders, and so on. So they have to be clear about what they're proposing. And also, uh, so uh, they also said that, that the CEOs chosen by employees, if the, if the employees have the right to choose the CEOs, they're going to select the CEOs, which is going to uh, be not severe or not like so harsh, or they say that the CEO is going to only prioritize on uh, giving higher salaries to employees, which we believe is never true. What they're saying is very extreme in this debate, and they have to be more careful about what they're saying. So moving on to my first speech. Uh, moving on to my first point. Further analysis on why our paradigm is, is 
why our paradigm is far better for the employees and large corporations. Well, we believe that the less bankrupt is going to be happen is going to happen in our paradigm. Why is that? Think about what uh, think about the actor which is going to be harmed the most by bankrupt. We believe that is the employees. So what what happens to the employees when a large company bankrupts? We believe that they're going to lose their source of income. They're going to lose the main source of income, and we believe that is crucial for the employees. But if the employees lose the source of in income, we can reasonably say that they have no uh, no much more money to lead a meaningful life and so on. And since the large companies, large co large corporations have so many employees, we believe this impact is so much so much more bigger than the impact towards uh, shareholders. Well, what happens to the shareholders is they just lose money or like in terms of stock or something like that. Well, we believe if, if, even if it's a money, what, what we have to compare in this debate is that the lives of the employees itself. And we are going to value the lives of the employees, employees uh, much more better because in, if, even if those uh, shareholders lose money in the short term, they, they can just buy another stock or we believe that the, 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 the uh, dividend given by the company is not the main source of income to the shareholders. Which believe that, it, and since the uh, since the salary given by the company is the source of main income and, and and the dividend toward the shareholders is not so uh, important to them, we believe that the that the harms is more much more bigger to the employees. So therefore, the employees is going to choose the CEOs who is which more less likely to run the company into bankrupt. So we believe this point in terms of the. Uh, uh, Feasibility in bankrupt stands in our side. Moving on to the next point, how our paradigm can bring more benefits to even outside the company. Well, that is saying that our paradigm is much more better in terms of interacting with other company associations with large companies. Well, we believe that it is the employees, not the shareholders, who is going to interact with the, with the uh, other companies in, in such uh, places as meetings or like business business. Uh, business places or so on. So we believe that employees know more about those business partners or other companies. We think that employees know more what they want and employees does know more about what what employees itself or the company itself wants to do with with the uh, other companies. And we believe in our in our characterization about the stake, uh, shareholders or stakeholders, we believe that those shareholders only care about the short-term merit that they receive by dividend. We believe that the, the, the we believe that the shareholders will lead the, lead the companies, lead the CEOs to do something much more better for this for the shareholders and so on. So we believe uh, if the CEOs prioritize more shareholders' ideas, we believe the company can can uh, cannot interact much better with other companies and uh, other companies which is associating with the large company. And we believe this is. This is not uh, not beneficial comparing to the other side. We believe since uh, even if uh, if uh, not just for the company, large company itself, we believe that even the uh, other companies have this. Uh, we, we believe that other companies interacting with the large company we are talking about will have less benefit. And as a whole, as, uh, seeing macrospectively, this is going to be more effective and more effective have more effects in the society and in the retrospective view, we believe that this is going to have more harm in our, in our society in terms, of, uh, in terms of incomes of the employees and so on. So we believe uh, our sense has much, stands much more better in terms of interacting with as other companies and as socially. And thirdly, I'm going to talk about, next, uh, thirdly, why CEOs choosing by shareholders are more likely to fail. Well, we believe that this is a matter of priority that the CEOs uh, cares about. So what do, we, what do I mean by this? Well, CEOs who is selected by the shareholders owe shareholders for selecting his, him or her as a CEO. And, see, and since CEO is, a, is an extremely well-paying job, we believe the CEO will be thankful for the shareholders will select him. Therefore, they owe those shareholders and they have to give back the benefit that they receive. And this is why we believe, we strongly believe the CEO is going to uh, prioritize the stakeholders' ideas more, which, which we, we already told you that is not good for the, it's not going to be better for the uh, large company. But for in, in all three reasons, we believe that our side must stand much more better for the CEOs himself or, or the comp large companies, employees, and even for the uh, shareholders in terms of dividend. So we are very proud of proposed.
Thank you, Chairperson. So, as the government side, we believe that large companies have a large influence on the society, and to to avoid some to avoid such a problematic situation, we think that we should prioritize the whole balance of the companies. So that that is to say, we should not only look at the employees, but we should also look at other things. For example, the st stakeholders, the stakeholders, and we should also look at other companies that have relationships with them. So today, I would like to make three points in this argument. First of all, I would like to characterize the employees. That is to say, we would like to talk talk to you how employees will prioritize themselves, only themselves, but not the companies as a whole. Secondly, I would like to talk about the character of the CEO and as well as the stakeholders. That is to say that they are going to look at look not only at employees, but they will also look at the company's financial situations or they will look at also look at the situations of the other relating companies and also the effect on society. And then after that, I'll talk about what harm taking this motion causes. But before that, a few rebuttals. So the first of all, the government side has said that in a status quo, those CEOs are chosen by the connection. But however, that might, that will also happen in their paradigm too. Because if they are going to be chosen by the employees, for example, a candidate might have connections with particular for example, intermediate managers. And that also, that means that they are also chosen by the connection with only a minority of the employees. So their argument is not mutually exclusive. So also, they questioned us about what kind of, what is better decision? We say that better decision is when, when the better decision is made, they are also looking at the long-term benefits, right? Like, investment, the innovative research, and so on. And that means they are going to seek for a better balance of workers' environment. So that's how we define the better decision. And the government side also said that the stakeholders will just sell away their st stocks soon. But however, that's not always true, because they think that the stakeholders regard to their stock as some kind of a deposit. And also, if the stakeholders have stocks, they can get many kinds of services. For example, my father is a stakeholder of ANA, and with that, um, he's a stakeholder, so we could take the ANA flight cheaper, and then I was also able to enjoy the flight. So they, they are not going to sell the stake easily. So now I would like to make my own argument. So first of all, I would like to talk about how, how employees will look, look much, look, um, prioritize way much more on their benefit than the company's benefit. So for employees, they are working to lead everyday life. They are working to eat and they are working for maintaining their house. So they don't know about what's going to happen in the long term, but for them, it is important for them that they could get paid in like the in like a um, one month term or one week's term. So they don't know about the long term, but they know they prioritize the short term because in the short term they have to have their lives guaranteed. So for example, even however the company makes profit, if they if their you know, income will not go up, then they'll just keep on complaining. So that means the company might be benefited, but the, those workers are looking at their benefit only. So that, that is how the employees will look at only at their profit. And then on the second point, I would like to talk about how the company looks at their own companies or around the societies around them. So companies also have to look at the investment and the profit as well as the workers' conditions. No, thank you. So they also have to, and so, I'm sorry, so the companies look at everything. And that is also the same to the stakeholders. Why is that? Because stakeholders, when they buy 
the stocks. As the previous speaker has told you, they look very deeply in their company. That is to say, they will look at about the financial situations, or they will look at the business plan of the companies, and they also have to take the stability of the companies in account. No, thank you. And what's the stability of the company? The stability of the company will be um, decided by the relationships between other countries, um, I'm sorry, other companies, or the the plans for investment or Take innovation returns. Yes. Since stakeholders cares about short-term merit as a dividend, then why the CEO chosen by stakeholders cares so much of long-term benefit that you told us in your like definition of better decision? Okay, the so CEO, the companies need the stakeholder money in order to keep on their work. That means the CEO will have since the stakeholders look at the short benefit, CEO has to look at how they can keep the stakeholders in place for a long term. That means they have to um, provide them with the benefits for long term. That means the company will search for stable and long term profits so that they can also profit the stakeholders. So that's how it works. So as we have told you, the stakeholders, it is important for the companies to keep the stakeholders in place and then to achieve that, the stability of the company is required because stakeholders are also risk holders and they want enough return for that. So they are the ones that invest the company and without them the company will be poor and then they will not be able to do anything and that will cause the performance of the company to go down and you know it will cause a vicious cycle of the performance going down and the investors going away. So. For all, the, all those reasons, we believe that by taking this motion, the CEO will only look too much at employees, but not the stakeholders or the stability of the company as a whole. And as a result, in their paradigm, that will cause, that will cause harm, more harm than benefit for the company. So that's why we are proud to oppose. Thank you. Speech now go on um, our position reply to summarize the evidence within four minutes. Large companies have a uh, large influence on the society and the large company is important for the society. This is the consensus of the both sides. So uh, uh, there, is, there are two plus points. Uh, uh, first plus points, uh, em em employee can choose the CEOs uh, who can make the better decision or not. And uh, second crash point, uh, uh, shareholders uh, can uh, choose the better CEOs or not. Uh, first crash point, uh, the, uh, the government said, said employee can choose the C, uh, better CEOs uh, because uh, employees uh, also be afraid of the bankrupt, bankrupt of the company. So uh, employees uh, are also deeply uh, consider, the, consider the, their choice of the C, their, uh, who, uh, who, uh, uh, what CEO they should choose, uh, but uh, as, well as, as we said, as uh, employee uh, uh, also uh, choose the CEOs uh, based on the connection uh, to with the uh, boss, uh, like like the boss uh, who don't 
score them, or uh, another example, uh, the, C, uh, the boss who don't uh, give us, uh, uh, who give uh, the CEO, uh, the boss who uh, give us less missions, uh, is this a good, a good boss? Uh, it, is, uh, it is not. Uh, it is necessary uh, to score, and it is necessary to give uh, uh, give them uh, much mission. It is uh, it's ne necessary, but the employees just uh, just won't be uh, uh, just uh, want such uh, see, uh, such boss, and so they uh, uh, so they choose the CEOs based on such uh, such connection. And uh, and see, uh, uh, so, uh, so they can't choose a better employee. Uh, we we think so. Uh, and uh, second crash point, uh, the the shareholders uh, can choose the CEO CEOs uh, or not. Uh, we uh, the opposition, uh, opposition side say, uh, think yes uh, because. Uh, uh, the shareholders uh, they don't uh, just play the trading trading game uh, easily release the stock uh, uh, they don't release the stock so quickly uh, based on the sh uh, state in short term uh, short term uh, but uh, if uh, they uh, but if the learning of the company is so bad uh, and there is a pre uh, there is a suggestion uh, in long term the large company uh, will uh, will bankrupt. Uh, they release the release the uh, stocks, uh, sell the stocks. Uh, so uh, and their uh, as uh, their uh, stocks. Uh, so uh, the uh, uh, the compared to the employees, uh, shareholders can uh, uh, can. Uh, analyze the long term ben long term benefit of the company uh, like uh, investment of the uh, instrument or the innovative uh, research in uh, in long term uh, uh, so uh, the uh, so the shareholders uh, so sh the shareholders uh, can choose the uh, better empro better employee we think uh, we think so uh, uh, so, uh, so our paradigm is uh, more uh, better than their paradigm. Thank you. Thank you, Alfred Bly, for your speech. I'll now call upon government reply and summary statements within sorry, four minutes. Here, here. So in my speech, I'd like to um, explain one clash point in this debate, why CEOs chosen by employees is much better than, cho than, than that chosen by the stakeholders. So um, first of all, um, I'd like to explain what, um, how employees can, can, can have more capacity to choose better um, CEOs uh, rather than the stakeholders. So the stake um, they have uh, the opposition side have said like employees do not have enough connection with this the you know um, the all of the mem members of the you know of the companies but we believe that shareholders uh, do have less um, c capacity to know about or analyze who are in that companies right because like they are the individual stakeholders like his father right so it means like um, they have fewer capacity to investigate or analyze who are actually um, capable or who are actually suitable for the position of the CEOs, right? So it means like they, they will cho choose those CEOs based on their connections or based on their the authority or based on their past careers like the politician or stuff like that. And so they, and they will choose those, they will, uh, you know, um, choose the CEOs not knowing the true ability of the candidates in particular um, sort of jobs, right? So that is not, um, so stakeholders do not have enough capacity to choose the best um, CEOs uh, of the companies, and and we believe that employees uh, rather have more, you know, capacity to know about the who is actually suitable for the um, the companies because like um, you know they are actually working with those um, you know 
the the candidates, right? And also they are actually have the bosses of the companies, and they uh, really know like that particular boss is suitable or or not or stuff like that. So that they have more capacity to choose better um, CEOs of the companies, right? So and also like. And we believe that um, the, the CEO chosen by the stakeholders is not actually uh, good for the companies to make more profit. Because like, um, as I have told you, that um, the stakeholders uh, do not really care about the, the, the working conditions or do not actually care about the long-term benefit or future perspective of the companies that they have told you. Uh, because like, the, you know, their, the stakeholders future plan is to sell um, the, the stocks and they will um, extract some of the profit from the companies, right? So they, they are, you know, they're happy to sell that this stocks in the future. So it means, uh, you know, it is better for the stakeholders if a corporation can create the short term benefit and, you know, go back bankrupt in the future or something. And so it is, uh, you know, so they have no um, enough incentive, no enough incentive to. Um, care about the long-term benefit of the corporations, so they are not actually um, suitable for um, the, the companies to create um, the benefit, and rather employees have more incentive um, um, to care about the long-term uh, you know, the benefit, and they, they have stated like the, the, the employees only care about their own profit, but you know, income is also the other profit of the companies, so it means like they are not um, going to you know, um, choose that extreme crazy you know, CEOs, right? So, um, and also like, uh, they have some kind of tenure, so it means like they have enough incentive to care about the future perspective of the companies as well as their, um, you know, working environment, right? So, you know, so employees who uh, kind of balance out the, you know, their working environment and uh, the, you know, um, the, the, you know, company's profit, right? And if the companies are extreme, extremely crazy and, and that company is going to bankrupt, they will actually re-elect or re-select the, the, the another, uh, you know, another bosses or CEOs. But the, you know, the stakeholders do not have uh, ability to analyze what's going on inside the companies. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, rather better for, uh, for the employees to choose um, the CEOs. So we back to propose this motion. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel, for your speech. Thank everybody for your